I was dying to come back to work um, and just to see people and we've not had um, any major issues from anybody um, and it really makes a difference just to get some human interaction and um, whether that's over a brew or a cake. So we're really trying to encourage people um, just to shop locally at the moment um, in order to help support the local economy and um, jobs as well. We've had a lot of customers pop in and say, oh, we can't wait for the cafe to be reopened. So we know that there's the support there still, that they're going to come back and enjoy their lunch and afternoon tea with us, um, along with other businesses in the town as well. It, it's, support is needed, especially at this time, to, to, for everybody to keep going into the future and build their business back up. At Bijou, we offer a personal shopping experience. So it's great selling online and we're lucky that we have been able to operate in that way. However, our customers, they're very familiar with the staff. They like to come in. It's quite sociable almost in here. Uh, so it's nice that they're able to come in and do that again now. We've really missed you all. <laughs> The nice thing about it is seeing the people coming and it's reassuring that people are getting back to normal because that's what we must do, is get back to normal. There's a sort of a buzz back in the town now, uh, which is reassuring and um, people are just glad to uh, be able to get to the shops that they want to do in the first place. Walking towards people, everybody seems to give you a wide berth. I do the same myself, um, so I've got no qualms about uh, coming back into town at all. Yeah. I'm really delighted to be back. It's sort of the first step to normality, really, to be able to shop in a place that you love and that you use part of your life, really, coming out and having a little browse round. And I've got lots of friends in Litchfield, so. I look forward to meeting up with people. I've really enjoyed it today, in the sunshine. <laughs> I felt very nervous to begin with, um, but going into a shop and seeing all the measures in place, I feel a little bit more reassured. I don't think I would be shopping if I felt that they weren't taking this seriously. I've seen staff wearing visors, there's some hand sanitizers. They've got actual stations. Hand yeah, there's distancing. Stations. So yeah, I don't feel too bad about yeah, it. Yeah, I feel quite safe. Great community spirit, and we're all talking to each other about the processes and procedures um, to put into place to ensure that the community is safe when they're coming out to shop local. It's so important for us to see the community support local businesses. Um, here in Chasetown we've got loads of fantastic independent stores um, and we are small businesses so you are feeding our families. It's great, great to be back and it's great to see you know our, our customers coming in and sort of people generally walking up and down the high street and visiting other shops and we really, we really hope that we sort of still gain to get new customers and see our old customers as sort of without them we wouldn't be here. You know? Once the small shops disappear it's hard to get them back and you've got to keep supporting. Everyone's observing the social distancing, hand gelling. I've just been into my favourite boutique, Vogue, and um, you know they've just reopened. Um, but yeah, very safe. They're showing you the things. We're not trying on, obviously. Um, but to be able to get into my favourite boutique is really important. I feel really good to be out and about. It's a relief to be out in the fresh air, and I feel quite safe because. There aren't a lot of people about and it's a lot of space, so I feel very good and very happy to be out. <laughs> <laughs>